привет, ребята. А мы туда пришли. Вот хороший вопрос. Ну, это же Редмиха на гитхабе лежит. Она могла уже встреча. Можно подождем. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So no, no one else here. Or are people joining the other call? Maybe they they, they didn't notice that the, the URL changed. Come on. Uh, hmm. 
Hey guys, apologies for being a few minutes late. Oh, okay. Hey. Do we want to pull up the project board and take a look? Yeah. Cool. Hang on a second. To the project board. There we go. Uh, can we just spend a minute or two before we go to the project board on just looking at how how many old PRs we have, like, you know, older than two months? Because totally. we, have, we have things that, uh, I think that some of them were closed already, but there are things that not just sitting sit there and probably are irrelevant already. Just mostly as a reminder, not really as something that we need to deep delve into, but uh, are you sharing something? Because I don't see. No, no, no. no. You said, yeah, hello, hello. You said you wanted to do something before we dove into the board. So. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't have it open. Uh, yeah, just, just we have a couple of PRs, which are kind of, I don't know, since back from September or even earlier. Uh, which okay. I think that they don't uh, make. Uh, eh, yeah, <laughs> I'm unprepared. <laughs> Should I share? Go ahead. Yes. Sorry. Okay. So this one. Uh, PRs. <clears throat> so if we look at this one here, so this is everything that predates. So there is a thing from Radoslav that sits there forever. It's about IPv6 testing environment. Is this still something that we want or I just can't remember? It's quite old thing. I mean, it's a, the, the, yeah, I mean, the, the, the question I guess is, um, I, I, I suspect that something actually got done here. Uh, or maybe it is just gone stale. No, it, it's gone stale, but uh, the thing is, uh, is it something that we still feel that we want? Uh, um, I would love to see IPv6 testing. Um, I think it's going to be important to us um, because a lot of a lot of folks are going to have IPv6 stuff going on. Okay. Uh... Yeah, but I mean, things changed because today actually you can have both IPv4 and IPv6 uh, in a cluster. So, uh, you know, it's the world is moving <laughs> since April. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I think that, that we need to somehow reconsider what, what actually we want here in this new world. Uh, that's uh, probably better description of it. Okay, then we have a, a, this thing about the device plugin, which I somehow suspect that is still a thing in terms of we want to get rid of it, but um, pff, I'm not sure it's if it's still, I mean, it doesn't indicate any problems, <laughs> uh, conflicts, but... It's, uh, it's not complete, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is not. Like, Denise, uh, I think you last one who worked at Averis. Did you remember when you stopped it? Ninth of August. Oh yes, uh, we found some uh, problems with uh, that uh, we need uh, to implement uh, one uh, gRPC uh, server for uh, for NSMD. Yeah, yeah, uh, I remember a bit. So few uh, important steps need to be happen before we can do uh, this change. Mm -hmm. First one, uh, right now for every client, we have a separate gRPC socket. So uh, I think we need to have just unified one, same yeah. way as a Kubernetes has. And for this, we need a proper uh, client identification to be okay. implemented. Uh, yeah. And also this involves uh, the workspace management we have right now using a device plugin. So uh, we need to somehow solve this issue with uh, assignment of uh, separate subfolders for the MEMIF and for the endpoint uh, mm -hmm. Unix socket to be uh, securely independent uh, one from another. So uh, 
until these problems will be solved, uh, I'm not sure if it will be easy to get rid of a device plugin. Yeah, I think. Yep. Yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, effectively we need to, um, you know, effectively I think we will have an easier time getting rid of device plugin stuff on the um, in the new repos because they're actually properly modular. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there there would be major, major, major surgery to get rid of it here. And it would be relatively minor surgery to work in that direction um, in the, the new repos. Yeah, I think so. So shall we just just drop this PR because I don't know. I think so. Uh, it's a lot of outdated PR, so I uh -huh. think we just need to close all of them. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that it deserves some description why we call it, but okay, fine. <laughs> That's... Yeah, no, I, mean, I, I, I think you're absolutely correct um, that it does deserve some description. As to <laughs> At least uh, a sentence. I mean, it's stayed for half a year here. <laughs> that suddenly yeah. just doesn't. Okay. Uh, then we have possible store described. Okay, I don't think that we should go through each each and one of them. I tried to send to kind of send some messages here. As a pink, like okay, we will still need this one. So, but but please just yeah, check whatever uh, is uh, hanging there for it's old enough so that we don't like anything. I would consider that anything before November. So everything here is uh, somehow questionable for why it's still in in our PR. Okay, saying this, I think that we should move to unless folks have to say something else on this topic. Yep. No, I think that's fine. Um, since you're here, do you want to go ahead and share the project board since you're already sharing? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. <sighs> okay. So what do we see here? Um, usually, my experience is it's, it's easier to go from uh, right to left rather than left to right, because that way, as you discover you're moving things to the left, uh, you don't wind up with with issues. So you go right to left, you, you look at the thing, you're like, oh, that's in progress. You move to the in progress column. Then when you go to the in progress column, you're looking at it again, right? So, hmm. cool. Right to left, like from done to... Exactly, know. right? L look, look at any of the done things first and then look at the in progress things and so forth. Okay. Just... okay. <coughs> yeah. So, by the way, uh, Denise, you're doing a great job picking up uh, a lot of the small things in the to-do co uh, comments, like th this one here on the add dial client op client dial options to connect server, right? Re there, there was a to-do comment in there. It turns out not to be super difficult. And this, this literally lets us get rid of a whole bunch of our, um, we have an insane amount of dial machinery currently. <laughs> and, um, this literally lets us get away from that because we, we have... Uh, gRPC dial options for any of the things that knobs that we might want to turn and because we can pass that in at, to the constructor for the connect server now we don't have to go use our own bespoke dial libraries we can just use the gRPC ones which is cool so um, also other things that were really cool that landed SRV6 landing made me happy the DNS stuff made me very happy as well. Um, so those are all good things. So uh, are, are we tracking here only the new uh, repos or not really? Uh, mostly. The, mostly. The, the, okay. Mostly. I mean, a few other things are being added here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and, and part of it was this, because this project board spans multiple repos, um, you know, you yeah. needed it so you could, track things that span multiple repos. So, and this is the direct MIF stuff that Denise is working on, which looks like it's getting very close. Um, Says it's a draft uh, somehow, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it turns out it's kind of cool because you can write like a, a single little chain element at the end that just that before you commit things says, hey, do I have two interfaces in my config? Are they both MIF? And if that's true, you're like, I shouldn't be sending this to VPP. I should be proxying how I have stuff back and forth. Mm -hmm. Great. So. Cool. Okay.
Okay, review in progress. In progress. Uh, Moider core chain, create metrics, metrics on this chain. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know if Ivana is on the call. Um, uh, yeah. Yes, I'm. I, yeah, just mm -hmm. muted. Uh, I know that there has been something. Uh, Is there an implementation here? I got the impression that there was a PR about it. Oh, yeah, it's in the, uh, if I'm not wrong, is it's it the same PR that is in the API repo? Ah, okay, but then it should uh, refer to the... Uh... So I, by the way, Ivana, I'm really liking the, the idea you're, you're pushing of, of reporting metrics directly up into Prometheus. Um, I, I think that ends up being a, an amazing okay. cool thing. And, and one of the things that occurred to me is because we're pulling metrics along the path, um, you could imagine a client being able to report up metrics to Prometheus and the client, because it's getting the metrics from the path, is now able to see it's the metrics for its entire path. Yeah, actually, the current Prometheus integration is not updated to support path. But uh, what I think maybe uh, we need, uh, I don't think if we are going to uh, have the new API soon, it doesn't make many sense to update the integration with the path and then add the whole refactoring and doing from again. So maybe we need uh, to directly implement that after having uh, the new API. Yeah. And, what and, and, think, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, effectively, all you'd have to do is implement a chain element that, that, that grabs that stuff. And <laughs> um, it gets to be kind of interesting how you label the Prometheus buckets. That's an interesting question. Yeah, um, at, at the moment, it's uh, just by pod names and namespaces. Uh, and I think uh, we, we may add uh, path segments, for example, in order to distinguish which path is uh, the metric part of. And uh, what I proposed on Slack, I think I didn't write about it any. Uh, in the issues, but uh, we, after having that, we can uh, implement some collector uh, that if you point to uh, two points from the path, uh, uh, it can uh, collect the whole metrics in those segments um, yep. and uh, expose uh, just by given uh, two endpoints, uh, to just two vertexes of the uh, graph, it should uh, uh, collect the whole metrics from all path segments and expose them. Yep, I mean, I, I've been thinking in terms of the metrics themselves on a particular path segment, and, and, and please note, this is not super well thought out, but it, it seems to me that you basically have TX, you know, transmit, receive, and, um, and drop are probably the metrics, right? Because coming in, incoming, you, you have receive. Outgoing, you would have transmit. And then, you know, drop tells you how many of the things you received that didn't get passed on to the next path segment. So you can tell the difference between this node dropped something versus I lost something in a wire. Yeah. At the moment we have them, just uh, the old way uh, without path, we have all the error. We Actually, we, we have error packets. I think yeah, it's the same. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, it, it, you know, but I think this is going to end up being crazy cool because you'll literally be able to allow any sort of participant here to be able to publish the metrics for anything downstream of them. Um, I'm actually, but uh, I'm preparing something from the uh, next call, uh, from the community call uh, it, uh, today uh, with uh, different tools. We can stop on one uh, that is good for visualizing. Once we have uh, uh, everything in Prometheus, so we can have a good observable way to see the network topology and see the packets going on between different segments uh, uh, and etc. We, we can discuss that in more details in the community meeting later, maybe. Uh, uh, this is a separate, this is just for the visualization itself. Uh, no, I think this is great. And it is, 
I, we, probably for the community meeting though, because we, we've only got 11 minutes before we got to go jump in the community call. So, and it's a different WebEx than, than this. So, but no, I'm, I'm super excited about this stuff. Um, but cool. Okay. What else we want to point here? Mm, I, I think good stuff is happening. Uh, Radoslav, you, you probably saw the, do we have Radoslav on the call? We don't. So there, there are some, um, so we do have Zemek though. Zemek just landed mockable, um, mockable kernel stuff, um, basically mockable Netlink pieces uh, in the SDK kernel repo. So hopefully things will go relatively cleanly from there. Is there anything you want to say about all that stuff, Zemek? Um, hi. Uh, yeah, it was part of the initial uh, sorry of the PLC PR, and I decided to uh, take part of it and uh, and push against uh, SDK kernel repository. Uh, and beyond that, I created a new issue in the SDK kernel repository to uh, start moving uh, other pieces of that PR uh, to the SDK kernel. So I'm planning to work on that. Uh, in the upcoming days. Awesome. Good. Cool. Um, also, um, Denise, how is the fan out plugin upstream in Core DNS going? Oh, uh, I, I've asked guys from Core DNS about moving uh, fan out plugin, uh, and they don't mind, don't mind uh, to make it as an internal plugin. Um, so uh, I have provided a uh, VIP PR and I need to complete requirements for new plugins. Cool. So th this is awesome because this means that in the not too distant future, we'll just be able to use off the shelf core DNS instead of having to build our own. Oh, need to be. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean by UDP? Is, is it TCP or what, what, why UDP? Oh, it is uh, the transport uh, protocol for uh, DNS. Uh, the message. default should be UDP from what I remember. Oh, it uh, can use TCP for transport. Yeah, so, so basically, usually you use UDP for DNS. You mm -hmm. can, the, the three transports I'm aware of for DNS are there's UDP, which is what you usually use. There's TCP, which doesn't get used as often. Yeah. Um, um, and then there is very recently um, uh, DNS over HTTPS. And so we probably want to make sure that, that all those protocols are supported. Um, but, but, but basically look, we want to look at what they're doing um, probably in something like Forwarder to see like how they're, they're skinning that. I mean, my question was, I would assume that we by default support only UDP, not that we need to add support for it, but okay, fine. That that's these are details probably. Yep. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, is there anything else that folks want to call out on the in progress list since we're running a little close on time? Uh, I'm a bit late with the matrix stuff. Still working on it. Uh, plan to up update my pull request today. So, cool. uh, what latest idea is to put uh, the metrics into the path segment. So, I've changed my pull requests. Uh, in some areas, it's easier and uh, less code. In some areas, it's uh, a bit more. <laughs> not not so easy, but I think in general, it will be better to put the metrics into, into the path itself. Yeah, I mean, one of the nice things about putting them in the path segment itself is that a, a pod always has the option of refreshing a, a connection at any point, right? So yes, there are timers and it needs to refresh before a certain place, but it can always refresh early. Um, and that can essentially allow a pod to pump metrics if need be. So if you think that something is wrong, you can pump your metrics and find out what the metrics are telling you, which is kind yep. of cool. Um, okay. A cool idea uh, with putting uh, metrics into the path, it's uh, what the metrics will be propagated uh, to the client and back to the uh, endpoint. So all the items will know the metrics. Okay. 
so shall we close and have some time to switch to the next call? I'm cool with that if everyone else is. Cool. All right. Catch you guys on the next call. Okay. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.